is CBD considered a Schedule One illegal narcotic by the United States government? No. And uh, I'm going to explain why. First, I want to lay out some definitions so we know what we're talking about here. What is CBD? Well, CBD is cannabidiol, and it's a chemical found in the cannabis plant. Scientifically, CBD is a proven anti-anxiety and antioxidant. It also has some analgesic and pain relieving properties, and in a full spectrum extract, CBD can be an effective anti-inflammatory. CBD is completely safe and non-psychoactive, and it, the way it works is that it uses your body's natural endocannabinoid system to achieve the benefits. So what is the Schedule One? What is the Schedule One illegal narcotic? Well, back in 1970, the Controlled Substances Act was passed uh, into law, and this act defines what's known as the drug schedule, and it goes from Schedule 1 to Schedule 5. A Schedule 1 drug is a substance or chemical that's defined as drugs with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. Some examples of Schedule 1 drugs are heroin, LSD, cannabis, ecstasy, uh, quaaludes, and peyote. Drugs on the controlled substances list include PCP or angel dust, which is a Schedule 2, cocaine or crack cocaine, which is a Schedule 2, uh, methadone is a Schedule 2, anabolic steroids would be a Schedule 3, uh, diazepam or Valium, that's a Schedule 4, fentanyl, which is a Schedule 2, tetrahydrocannabinols, which is THC, which is a psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, that of course is a Schedule 1, and approved cannabidiol drugs, and that's a Schedule 5, which is the lowest drug schedule. And the reason that's in there is that there was a drug approved by the Food and Drug Administration before the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill, which I'll talk about in a moment. And this drug was called Epidiolex. Its main ingredient is CBD. And because it was uh, approved before the passage of the Farm Bill, they needed to fit it into the drug schedule. And so they put, made a kind of a catch-all category called approved cannabidiol drugs. And, but they did put it as a Schedule 5, which is the lowest drug schedule, uh, basically safe. So why wasn't CBD ever put on the drug schedule, even though it's from cannabis? Well, that's because it does not fit the definition of a drug that would be on the controlled substances list. CBD is completely safe, does not cause harm, it only helps people, it, it helps people, it helps pets, uh, and it is uh, a product that has no other uh, purpose than providing uh, therapeutic benefits uh, to the people that use it. Uh, it is non-psychoactive, so it does not get you high, and it is not addictive at all. And these are all proven scientific fat, facts. And so because it was generally a safe chemical, uh, even though it was from the cannabis plant, it was never placed on the drug schedule ever in the history of the United States. Now, in November 2017, the World Health Organization of the United Nations did a very detailed scientific study looking at CBD. Uh, and they collected data and science from all over the world. And they found the following res uh, results. Uh, CBD is one of the natural occurring cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant. And in humans, CBD exhibits no effects indicative of any abuse or dependence potential. CBD is generally well tolerated with a good safety profile. And to date, there is no evidence of recreational use of CBD or any public health related problems associated with the use of pure CBD. So the World Health Organization looked at scientific data from all over the world and didn't find any evidence ever of any abuse uh, or misuse or any uh, detrimental effect of using CBD for people or for pets. And so it doesn't fit the definition of a product that would be on the controlled substances list, and so it was never placed there to begin with. Now, hemp is where the CBD is mostly extracted from because the hemp uh, variety of cannabis has a lot of CBD and only trace amounts of THC, which is a psychoactive cannabinoid. And this is why hemp production and sale was legalized federally in the United States starting January 1st, 2019. A piece of legislation commonly, commonly known as the Farm Bill of 2018, or the Agricultural Improvement Act of 2018, was passed into law, and it defined hemp production and hemp very specifically. And what it said is that the term hemp 
means the plant Cannabis sativa L and any part of the plant, including the seeds thereof and all derivatives, extracts, cannabinoids, isomers, acids, salts, and salts of isomers, whether growing or not, with a delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol concentration of not more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis. This is the legal definition of hemp. So the parameters set in this law for what is hemp are clear. Uh, it needs to have less than 0.3% THC, but if it is extracted from the hemp plant, as defined by law, it is therefore hemp and therefore legal. And that goes for the cannabinoids, that goes for acids, salts, anything taken from the hemp plant. And then if you make a product out of it, because it came from the hemp plant, from a legal plant now in the United States, all those extracts are legal too. And that includes CBD. So that is why CBD is legal and not a Schedule I illicit narcotic federally uh, in the United States of America. Now, CBD in the Agricultural Improvement Act uh, was never specifically mentioned you know, as a specific cannabinoid because it didn't need to be, because it was never in the Controlled Substances Act to begin with. But the legislature did want to take that extra step and make sure that hemp was removed from the Controlled Substances Act. And so there is a subsection in the law that says conforming changes to the Controlled Substances Act, and it has two parts. One is that it removes hemp uh, from the definition of marijuana, uh, of course it's the marijuana with the H, uh, as an illegal narcotic, and it also removes this small amount, the trace amount of THC in hemp from the Controlled Substances Act as well. So no part of the hemp plant is now illegal, uh, and not even the THC. The law specifically removes THC in hemp, that small 0.3% from the CSA. So federal law is very clear. Hemp is legal, and anything gotten from the hemp plant is 100% legal. And this actually makes a lot of sense when you look how the CBD industry in the United States has developed over the last decade or so. Uh, there are very large companies manufacturing huge amounts of CBD as tinctures and pills and all sorts of other products. And there's simply no way that this industry would have developed as it has if they were developing uh, illicit narcotics. I mean, you couldn't imagine giant corporations producing peyote or heroin. Uh, that just simply wouldn't be allowed. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the largest companies in the country is called CV Sciences. Um, their 2018 sales uh, amounted to $48.2 million. Uh, their products are found in 2,200 stores across the country, uh, including my own store here, Hemp Headquarters. Uh, it's also uh, listed on NASDAQ, so it's on the stock exchange. And you could not have a company like this that was selling products uh, that were a Schedule I drug. So CBD is not a Schedule I illegal narcotic, as per federal law. The law is very clear. And the hemp industry in the United States of America will be moving forward. Uh, hemp is an amazing plant. Uh, it can provide food and nutrition. Uh, it can provide clothing and fibers. And of course, beneficial extracts like CBD.